Guys, I have a terrible confession I have to make. And, and it, it, it's a deep shame that I will have to bear for the rest of my life. I accidentally got sad and played 998 hours of Red Dead Redemption 2. God damn it! I hate getting sad and accidentally playing 998 consecutive hours of Red Dead Redemption 2. You know, I really need to stop playing these monstrously long games while on depressive episodes. It's... It's... It's not good for me. Oh yeah, this is supposed to be a YouTube video. Uh, uh, what am I playing today? Oh god damn it, no! No, please! God damn it, no, please! We continue our quest of sin and depravity by talking to this healer named Netty. For those of you motherless freaks that didn't watch the previous video, this is SpongeBob. Yes, you have to emphasize the Bob part of his name every time. If not, he... He will kill your kid and sing whimsical songs about it. I... I don't think he thinks kids are real. Nettie informed us that a druid named Hausen would have the proper knowledge to heal us from our AIDS worms, so we set off to find him. But before we could start our journey, we decided to head back to the camp for the night. While at camp, everyone wouldn't stop aggressively flirting with Bob. God damn it, you fucking freaks and goblins! Don't put your dick inside SpongeBob! I swear to God! Hey! No! No! Astarian! I see that! Bad! Bad! After avoiding the mass wave of penis and cocks, penis and cocks, I stumbled across a tower area where a gay ninja turtle came to make me a business offer. He teleported me to his house to discuss the opportunity. Ha! First rule of business, dumbass! Don't take clients to your home! I ate all of his food and called him a bitch. I didn't listen to a single word he said. Shortly after leaving the House of Hope, SpongeBob gave birth to a bunch of spiders. Don't question it. Nobody nutted in Bob's holes yet, I promise. I can't speak for this poor idiot though. Ha ha, look at you, your brother got fucked to death. Ha ha. Now watch me defile his corpse and use my scary black magic to steal his soul. Shortly after this though, the dead man's siblings informed us that the owlbear was the one who did this to their brother. So, out of sheer boredom, I decided to help them jump the owlbear. It was a surprisingly easy fight. I, I decided to kill the cub too because... Fuck dealing with potential owlbear, Batman, Arthur, Morgan, Gosling, out for revenge. I don't know. I'm smarter than that. Kill the baby. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I don't even know what that joke was supposed to be. I'm just screaming nonsense now. Oh, hey, look, a dog. I promise I'm not gonna kill it. I, I swear. I, I know everybody thinks I'm gonna kill it. I know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. But this poor defenseless gnome, on the other hand. Think you the shit, bitch? You not even the fuck. I be going hard. I'm breaking their heart. <laughs> Alright, I, I promise that was an accident. <laughs> but this definitely wasn't. Hey, let me see them saggy titties and gargoyle coochie. Hey, um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That wasn't necessary. After blue blowing the two of them permanently, we ran into Carlac. Carlac's the person Will's hunting, but she's a vibe, so we decided not to kill her. Will seemed cool with it, I think. The next morning, we found a group of people also seemingly hunting Carlac. And after a long, tedious fight, we were finally able to put them down like the dogs they were. However, Carlac's flames seemed to be too much for us. Please! Carlac, stop! After resurrecting everyone, we decided to head back to camp to hopefully heal from Carlex whatever degree burns. At camp, I found this chipper idiot frolicking around. This is Alfira! She thinks she's a better bird than Spongebob, and I guarantee you can all see where this is going to go. Spongebob isn't exactly one to take shit, so you know, he, he ate her kidneys. He ate her kidneys. And then went right back to bed. The next day, we ran into a bunch of gnolls. Shortly into the fight, though, we learned that the head gnoll was infected with a worm. Oh, would you look at that? He's got a worm. Oh, that's cute. We made him kill his friends and then his loved ones, and then eventually we made him eat himself. You know, the usual. Oh, hey, look, it's a scary flask. I wonder what liquor's inside this. Oh, motherfucker! Yeah, SpongeBob. Yeah, SpongeBob. Yeah. Yeah, SpongeBob, yeah! Hey! Hey, get it, SpongeBob! Yeah! Get that, yeah! Alright, I'll head back to camp one last time. Hopefully, there's no bullshit. 
There's gonna be bullshit, isn't there? <laughs> you know, this is sad and all, but... Hey, look! I made a new goblin friend! Look at him! He gave me a freaking cape and... Oh, Look at my boy! Look at my boy! Oh, Look at my evil little boy! That's an evil Bob right there. Yeah, that is. That's an evil Bob right there. <laughs> oh, I, I need to get a life. I, I need to get something. <laughs> hey you! If you want to support my constant psychotic breaks and rampant drug addiction, then sub to the channel! And if you liked the video, like it! If you hated it, then be rude to me, it's hot! And remember, like flavored milk is amazing. I swear. Still recording? <laughs>